Mr. Chairman and your team, on behalf of the people of Kenya, on behalf of a God-fearing nation, on behalf of my administration, and on my own behalf, I want to say we are truly grateful that you have taken time, a lot of time, diligently to put together the recommendations that uh, are contained in this report. I will, with dispatch and without wasting time, take the measures to ensure that we progress the good work you have done so that we can do what we all want. We can protect our right to worship God in all the ways that we choose to, and we also safeguard that freedom of religion in a way that recognizes our diversity, but also um, brings responsibility to the exercise of that freedom. The abuse of religion, the use of religion to carry out very anti-religion uh, things is what got our attention as a nation. And I'm very happy that you have been diligent as a task force. You've taken time. You've traveled different places. You have received memoranda from different um, groups and sections and sectors. And you have consolidated the thoughts, the ideas, the perspectives of many Kenyans into this report. This report is very important to us as a nation. It is very important to me as a leader who values religion. And therefore, we will be taking the next steps in making sure that the good work you have done so far translates into what will do two very important things for us. Number one is to protect our freedom of religion in Kenya, to make sure that we safeguard the place of religion in our country, and to also make sure that that freedom is accompanied by protection from those who want to abuse religion for other reasons. The next steps on the discussions on the policy framework that you have suggested, on the legal framework that you have suggested, will be informed by the broad views, perspectives, ideas, suggestions from the people of Kenya. Because public participation is now part and parcel of our legislation framework, of our policy framework, and of all government um, interventions and interactions
I am delighted to join you this morning as we mark the centenary anniversary of technical and vocational education and training Tibet in Kenya. We are here to celebrate the remarkable milestone we have achieved in our journey to empowering our youth, fostering innovation, and driving economic growth through skills development. Let us recognize and appreciate the dedication and commitment of all those who have walked our country on this transformative journey of a hundred years. We particularly pay tribute to the visionary missionaries who established the first technical schools. To policymakers, educators, administrators, and industry partners, you continue to shape the future of technical and vocational training, ensuring a steady supply of skilled manpower for our country's development. Our presence here gives us an opportunity to reflect on where we have come from, what we have achieved, and the lessons we have learned along the way to enable us to chart the way forward for the next century and beyond. TIVET has evolved from humble beginnings into a cornerstone of our national education system and a key enabler of our economic development. The journey of 100 years started from, from humble beginnings with the establishment in 1914 of the first informal government school for Africans, known as the Government African School in Machakos for vocational trades. It was later in 1924 that a formal Tibet institution, the Kabete Native Industrial Training Depot, was established to provide semi-skilled manpower to various industrial and vocational jobs maintenance of the Kenya-Uganda Railway and rehabilitation of World War I war veterans. From the first seed, Tivet has expanded to a network of 2,401 institutions across the country that produce skilled and competent technicians and technologists for all priority sectors of our labor market. We have Tivet institutions in 238 constituencies covering over 80% of all the 290 constituencies. That now really is the celebration of these 100 years. How many friends of yours will be available when you're celebrating 100 years? You will find that uh, literally there will be none. So where does the fun come through? Now the fun and the happiness, I believe, now comes from the fact that that person who's a hundred will be celebrating children and grandchildren, great-grandchildren, all having come from that one source. So today, we are here to celebrate this hundred years of this institution, but also to celebrate now the many institutions that have arisen out of this one important seed that was planted. If my father was alive today, he would be two years short of this institution. And I bring that up because he was an educationist. And when we were young, uh, I know he interacted uh, with this institution at that time while he worked for the Ministry of Education. And on one occasion during that period, we had an opportunity to stay in Kangemi. I stayed in Kangemi for uh, about two to three years as a young man. And 
How did we know this institution? We knew it, and I was trying to ask Agnes, is there some institution here? We knew it as Kavete Kwamagego. Because I think not too far from here, there was a dental uh, clinic. Is it opposite the road or something? Is it somewhere? Nightingale. Nightingale, somewhere here. Mountain View. So, so when we would grow up, when they would make reference, they would make reference to the place where you go for treatment to have your tooth dealt with, either uprooted or, or fixed. So that is how then they would market the institution. Yet, that was a very small component, and this is the big institution. So today, as we celebrate this 100 years, we really now must market the Tivets. We should not associate the Tibets with Magego. <laughs> now it should be perhaps associating Tibet with dental equipment that can be manufactured by this institution. So that there's a whole reversal on how we look at Tibets and how we want to, to, to help in promoting uh, this very critical sector uh, of, of our economy. So let us celebrate this 100 years uh, more rejuvenated. I wish to applaud the leadership of Tivet, led by P.S. Dr. Moria, for the zeal and passion with which you are implementing practical programs to empower our youth by scaling up enrollment and linking them to the job market. It is refreshing to note that you have since September 2023 fully implemented the competency-based education and training, CIBET, which is an innovative and flexible curriculum that aligns TIVET trainees' skills with the industry needs. Through TIVET partnership, with the private sector, you have ensured that TIVET training programs are responsive to the needs of the labor market and our society. This commitment is being accelerated in order to have as many TIVET centers of excellence as possible in liaison with industry. These initiatives are in line with recommendations of the Presidential Working Party on education programs, which highlighted the need for TIVET linkages with industries and partners on training, assessment, and public-private partnerships. The State Department for TIVET has embarked on implementing these recommendations to strengthen existing linkages and establish new ones for dual training, capacity building, and infrastructure development. This will ensure transformative skills development in specialized skills areas are accessible to all. These partnerships include one with Konza Technopolis, together with the Ministry of ICT and Digital Economy, that has established digital hubs in 127 TIVET institutions and delivered 11,520 virtual desktops top infrastructure. This infrastructure is being used for training the youth both in the Tibet institutions and their neighboring communities on digital competences and connecting them to online jobs. The youth, majority of them, the Gen Z, are earning an income through this online platform. Moreover, the recognition of prior learning policy framework launched in March 2024 ensured that the knowledge, skills, and competences of our artisans who acquired skills through informal 
and non-engagement are recognized and certified. Another big thing for TUVET is the National Research Fund that the government is using to promote research, innovation, and commercialization in TVET institutions. This will spur creativity and an entrepreneurial culture and support the transition of TVET graduates into the labor market. It will also offer solutions in critical areas of our country's development, including the impact of climate change on food production and the need for clean, sustainable energy. You will agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, that we have many achievements to celebrate. We have walked a long road with challenges and opportunities that have shaped the role of TIVET in our national development. The government has invested heavily in TIVET infrastructure to stimulate regional growth and equity. It has upgraded and equipped TIVET institutions with state-of-the-art equipment and machinery to ensure Kenyans trained in TVET skills are globally competitive. Furthermore, it has mainstreamed TVET for differently abled trainees through our dedicated TVET colleges. These initiatives have enhanced the demand for TVET training. As a result, enrollment of trainees increased by 51.8% from 250,000 733 to 380,638 during the financial year 2021 to the financial year 2023-2024. Medium-term medium expenditure framework period, the enrollment of differently abled trainees rose from 3,301 to 4,497 during this period. To support the rising enrollment, the government scaled up the recruitment of additional trainers. In the 2022-23 financial year alone, 1,300 trainers were hired. Recruitment of another 2,000 trainers interviewed during the 23-24 financial year is at an advanced stage. The government's scholarship program focused on the trainee has ensured equity and inclusivity by providing grants to needy students. Over 1.95 billion Kenya shillings has been disbursed this year to 52,542 trainees. In addition, the Higher Education Loans Board disbursed 6.5 billion Kenya shillings in loans to 166,000 924 trainees. This hybrid model aligned to the funding needs of individual trainees is designed to enhance retention and completion, ensuring that no one is left behind. TVET's phenomenal growth has become a game changer for our country. It is a key driver of social and economic transformation at national and local levels. It is worth noting that TIVET has supported Kenya's transformation through three industrial revolutions, from the second to the fourth. We are now in the fourth or 4.0 or 4, or 4 industrial revolution, characterized by rapid technological progress, demographic transformation, and climate change that are shaping a new world. The fundamental challenge for us now is to position our TVET training to adapt to the emerging global environment and demand for skills in new areas of growth, such as artificial intelligence and advanced robotics. This is a key area of focus by the Ministry of Education, which is investing in TVET education and training technology to prepare our youth for the fourth industrial revolution and beyond. We have a great opportunity to enhance the quality of our TVET trainees and trainers 
to equip them with quality skills that can fit well in job markets in Kenya and abroad. Our TVET graduates are taking advantage of the bilateral labor agreements we have negotiated with foreign governments to access accredited jobs in international labor markets. Collaboration between the State Departments of TVET, Diaspora Affairs, Labor and Skills Development, and Immigration and Citizen Services has embraced the whole of government approach in delivering on the government's promise of securing quality diaspora jobs. Finally, let me take this opportunity to appreciate all the students who have gone through the Tibet institutions and their instructors for demonstrating the importance of technical skills to Kenya's industrialization. To all stakeholders and partners, we have supported, who have supported the Tibet sector, your collaboration has contributed to Kenya's growth and prosperity. And as I speak, I also look at Ambassador Tiapola because the 20 or so uh, partners working with us are indeed most welcome. Thank you. So let this cent centenary celebrations renew our joint commitment to advancing technical and vocational education in Kenya. TIVET will be an important catalyst for transforming Kenya into a newly industrialized nation. Congratulations to all of you who have been part of this transformative journey. Asante ni sana and God bless Tibet.